How's it guys? Good morning at roughly 11 o'clock and welcome to Saturday the I don't know it's like the third probably by now the second when's workers day yesterday was Friday the first so it must be the second that makes it the second today today is I think the 36th day of lockdown yeah today we are hosting the pub quiz we've been doing pub quizzes every Saturday if you haven't seen I film almost all of them I think um, I've taken a bit of a break filming this week, so there will be a jump, I think, from like day 31 to day 36 or whatever. Yeah, and after this video, just a heads up, I'm going to be taking a few more days off as well, unless anything particularly exciting happens, which there isn't much of being planned, um, just to help me get back on track. Well, I mean, up to date with the vlogs. Um, yeah, and uh, da, 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 today we're hosting the pub quiz, so that's starting in five minutes. Scratching, hey? You just want to scratch on anything these days. So the pub quiz was a, su was a success. Um, a team won and a team lost. Well, actually, it's not about the losers. It's about the winners. I don't know how... Uh, it's, look, I forgot during the quiz because I was, I was we were quiz masters, so we were working the whole time. Although in between asking the questions and giving them time to answer, I guess we had time probably. But uh, the quiz was a success. The questions... I'm gonna run through them quickly. So let's go like this. Round one. These were all, we just did everything general knowledge. So you can see things here. Blue, what are you doing? You're climbing up or you're scratching? Oh. Whatever, you can destroy the couch. Yeah, element, iron, periodic symbol, whatever. Round two, also general knowledge. Which country was the first, uh, which country first gave women the right to vote and what was the year? You can pause and read these if you want. These ones were all worth three marks. What are the names of Donald Duck's nephews? Wild card round. Which country is associated with the saying La Pura Vida? And that was it. We only did four rounds. We kept it nice and short, nice and brief. But now we are making some coleslaw to go with today's lunch. And I decided this is probably the best way to do it because normally you cut up the carrot. I mean, you shave the carrots. I mean, you grate the carrots. Cheapers. Where are my words? You grate the carrots and then you add them and the cabbage, the thinly sliced or shredded cabbage. And then you add the mayo and then it becomes a mess to mix. Also, I normally squeeze the moisture out of the, the grated carrots. So then they turn into a big clump. So I add the mayo to the carrots to create this sort of nasty orange paste. And then we'll add the cabbage to this. Lunch, we got Southern fried style chicken, some Texas barbecue style oven fries, and a coleslaw. I didn't think about this considering we're having burgers tonight. Did we? What, you don't want potatoes twice a day? I'm more than happy to you, have, yeah. But we'll be I'm fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> I'm more than happy to have a double serving of fries in a day. So we're gonna make homemade burgers tonight with, uh, with homemade fries as well. This is the easy turn on the oven, put the stuff in lunch, you know? And yes, this is a huge portion of course of blue. So help me God, if you climb up, you will get the room of isolation. Oh, okay. For dessert, we've got apple crumble. Mmm. Sam so made. Well, actually, we both made the same. Yeah. yeah. We made it uh, the other day. Two days ago, when I wasn't filming, we decided, you know what? Let's make an apple crumble. So I got the recipe from a friend. We had a bunch of leftover apples. Well, not leftover apples, but like spare apples. So. Yeah, we decided apple crumble it is, and it is so good. Home-baked Hannah's apple crumble recipe, we'll definitely be making it again. So uh, next time we do, we'll have to share the recipe and the method and everything. It is here. so easy and it is like the best thing I've ever tasted. The crumb, it's the thing is it's the crumble. Apples, the apple part is always easy. Yeah. It's like cut the apples, shave them, get rid of the cores. You add to that sugar, lemon juice, cinnamon on, Hey, little man. Yeah, but the crumble is where it's at. The crumble is the pièce de résistance. Uh, we need to... Oh, you took it outside. Thanks, my love. Blue still acclimatizing to outside life, which is nice. Because we don't want him getting too comfortable out here. He always comes and sits right by the door so that he can dart back in, listens to the birds. 
or whatever. No, come along. So I've just been playing some games uh, with Mateusz from uh, Germany. Polish, German Mateusz that I've met up with a few times in the vlog. Sam, why are you here? I'm going to be showing you guys my burger recipe. Famous. It's not famous at all. Is he scratching my thing? That bloody cat. Um, yeah, Sam's going to do a mini vlog takeover, which is what this vlog is going to no, be called. No, it's not. Because I'm debating be... you guys into watching it. Because Sam's doing a mini vlog takeover. What up? Mini vlog takeover! Whoa, thumbnail! You take the thing and it'll look like you're taking over the... It's not the takeover. Anyway, Sam's doing... Sam's going to show you guys how to cook some stuff. There you go. On your bike. Okay, guys. It's been um, a while since I have been in front of this camera, um, approximately two years. So don't mind me if I'm a bit rusty. I'm gonna be showing you my burger recipe. Matt and I have been doing it. Um, don't you dare. Blue, no. I'm not a scratching post, my dude. Okay, I'm gonna be showing you my burger recipe. Matt and I have been cooking it pretty much every weekend in lockdown. Um, so it's for homemade burgers with mushroom sauce and homemade fries, which Matt has already chopped for me. So we did potatoes, which we're going to put in the oven now, and this little guy is going to go on the floor. I'm going to wash my hands. Wash your hands. So Matt did the potato chopping because he's Polish and Polish people like potatoes. So just in an oven tray and just a healthy dose of olive oil. We had something a bit more interesting. In terms of salts, maybe I would use that, but I'm just going to use some Melbourne salt and a bit of pepper. And a bit of paprika, paprika, or as Matt has called it, paparito. The sooner those guys get in, the better, because they're going to cook for as long. I think I just got oil on my. Yep. Oh, hoodie has seen it all. It's a stay at home hoodie. It's a stay at home hoodie. In they go. Alright. Then next up. Got any games on your Come phone? On. <laughs> Come on, Sue Chef. Look at this. Oh, you just got me. Yo! Savage. Alright, we're gonna need um mince. So we've got 500 grams of mince. We use half of this, so we use 250, so the patties are 125 grams each, roughly. Do the big boys again, and then we can freeze them. Yes, yes, thank you. Alrighty. Matt's saying what we do is that we use half of it, we use all the mince, and then we freeze the rest, or the other half, um, we freeze the patties pre-made so we can use them next week. And this is the help of my sous chef to cut a honyon for me. Half a honyon, please. Honyon. Half a honyon. Half a honyon. So I bought a new toy as well, which we can use today. So I have to grab a chill and show you a new toy. It's a honyon store. Because we use half onions most of the time and then they just sit in the fridge. Stinking out the rest of the rest of the fridge. And we don't like wasting single use plastics on them or I don't know. Wasting half an onion. Wasting half an onion, onion, so we put them in these guys. Half a kilo of mince. Not a lot of space here. Then we're going to add some breadcrumbs. This is just to help everything bind together nicely. One picture. large egg. My game is up. I'll be right back. How, um, how do you want those onions chopped? Finally, please. And then we have some frozen parsley, but you can use fresh parsley or dried parsley or whatever you've got. But this just goes into the mixture. There you go. Onions done. Thank you. Then, same story, a bit of salt, pepper. So that's what everything looks like right now. Looks a bit like a steak tartar. Let me just mash it all together. Let's see. Oh, ta -da. Ta -da. And it makes a pretty good little mincy mixture. I just do it with my hands. Obviously, I've washed my hands. Not because of Corona, but just because I'm hygienic. Right, and that is what you're left with. Now we've got the onions. This is for the mushroom sauce, which I'm going to show you guys shortly. And the, the, the burgers and the mushrooms kind of go concurrently. So we'll get started with the mushroom sauce now. 
good knob of butter in here. I'm gonna put it on a medium heat, so about a three. Make sure it's on the right stove plate because I always do it incorrectly, yeah. Then we're gonna put these little onions in that Matt has chopped so nicely for me. And then we're gonna put in some butter mushrooms or yeah, you can use whatever mushrooms you have, just like butter mushrooms for um, mushroom sauce. I think it works well. Okay, then I'm gonna take about half a pallet of mushrooms. So that is half of this, so it's about 125 grams for two people. And I'm just gonna chop them in all different kind of shapes. That's just to get nice different textures in the sauce. And those are gonna go in with the onions, which are now nicely cooking in the butter, just in a little bit when they get a little bit more translucent. Now that the mushrooms are on the go with the onions, I'm just gonna wait for them to release their juices and then we're gonna add some herbs, we're gonna add some parsley, some margarine, some mixed herbs, and then in a little bit we'll add probably like two cloves of garlic, um, a lot of salt and wait for it to cook down a bit. But in the meantime, what we're gonna do is make the patties and then do something really important, which is coat them in flour on either side so that when they fry, they develop a really nice crispy layer. So I'm gonna to get to that and I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. Great, so I just grab some cake flour or wheat flour and put it on a chopping board. And then just before I go into the patties again, just add a smidge more salt and pepper. Just rework them. Now that they've been sitting for a while. So just grab them, work a patty. Let me grab a bit more. Kind of just make it as big as you want it. Obviously, I know that from this I'm gonna be making four. We're gonna be freezing two for next weekend or whatever. And then I'm gonna go ahead and coat each side. In, power, in flour, in powder. That's fucking broken, dude. Really can you hear guys playing? Can you guys hear Matt playing games in the background? Story of my life. And now, this is what they look like. Ta da! So now, when they fry in the oil, they'll develop a nice, crispy, delicious outer shell. Okay. Mushrooms have released their juices, so now would be a good time to add the garlic. You can see that this is actually quite a big boy, so I'm just going to add this one. Just pop it in, just like this, and in she goes. Bring you guys along. That clove is in. It's quite pungent because it was a big boy, but you can see it is looking good. They're soft. If you add the garlic in too early when the onions are still frying and when if the heat is too high, it might actually burn the garlic. Um, so it might not taste that great. So maybe just really wait until the mushrooms have released their delicious juices and then it can be a little bit more flavorsome, in my opinion at least. But then again, I'm not a chef, so you don't have to listen to me. It's just a recommendation. Um, and now we're gonna wait for it to cook up a bit more and add in some herbs. And now what we're gonna do is do what Matt did or what Matt thought of last week or the week before, which is to freeze the rest of the burger meat into pre-made patties so we don't have to deal with it next week. So that's what I've done with this little guy over here, what I'm about to do with this one. And then we'll put them in a little freezer bag and they'll be ready to go for next week. Added the cream, it's been cooking down for a while, looking really good, it's on about a two, which is out of a possible six. Added some olive oil in here, it's been heating up on a four and I've turned it down to a three. And these guys are ready to go in, so let's go. Here we go. Right, mushroom sauce is basically ready. You can see it's thickened up to a perfect consistency. Just added some salt and freshly blacked cracked pepper. Now for the pièce de résistance for the burgers. A slice of processed cheese. Now, hear me out. Y'all gonna say you can have fancy cheese. We purposely buy high quality processed cheese, because that's what we like. When we have our burgers, we want it to taste the best. like a fast proper food. fast food burger, but obviously homemade with the best ingredients. You can hear these guys are sizzling. They're gonna be ready now for what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn off the heat, and they're just gonna have the cheese melt, and everybody is ready. Our fries are ready, you won't be able to see it, but they are ready and we are good to go. We do bun this, we got a little lettuce, lettuce leaf, 
That's going to do salad. tomato salad. And we got a side of slow because that's uh, what we're forever eating in this household. That's what's me to eat slow. Why is it not? Sam asked me to make slow like every day. That's why I make such a big batch. Grazie. See the fries? Oh yeah, the fries are plated. My tomatoes are sliced. The slaw is slawed. Blue is fighting the demons for all of us. Thank you. Doing the Lord's work. The burgers are about to be served. And the sauce goes on top. The cheese nice and melty. Here we go. There we also go. I'll scrape the crunchy bits out the pan later, don't you worry. And sauce. Yeah. This is the sauce is the is the gyoza. And there we go. Saturday night. But well Saturday is supposed to be pizza night, but Friday is supposed to be burger night. But we we decided not to do burgers last night. Thank you very much for cooking and for taking over the vlog. You're welcome. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that. Yeah, oh he's a goodie. He's a goodie. Mm, 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 mm. You guys just have to trust that it's good, because I know that it's good, so and I want to eat, so that's what's happening. Ooh. Oh, savage panther attack. Hey, oh, no, I'm not part of the experience. I'm just the maintenance guy. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Go on, have we tired you out? Oh, he's got the blinky eyes. It's a good start. Jesus, he's <laughs> 100 to zero. Hey, here we go. Here we go. This guy has so much energy. We've literally got a cat dog. We do have a cat dog. Oh. <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> Into the darkness. Simba, no! We are introducing, introducing, introducing Blue to rain outside for the first time. I think is this the first time it is, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So we're letting him just come outside while it's raining to experience what the hell is going on as a truck goes past. That's it. Be scared of outside. It's safe inside. Hey. So. Uh, dinner was amazing. I don't think I filmed anything since then. But Rob is in my ear asking, I wonder what rum and tonic is like. Probably terrible, Rob. Rory asked for the apple crumble recipe the other day. So he baked an apple crumble today. Um, he sent me a video of it. So I'm going to include that here and you can see him taking it out. I'm going to sign the vlog out here. As I said at the beginning of the vlog, there won't be much else happening over the next few days. So I'm going to give myself a bit of a break from filming. Um, and help catch up on editing and um, I'll see you guys sometime soon for another slice of man. <laughs>